What's up you guys, John here, and in today's video I want to show you an awesome exercise that's going to help your improvising and also help you really learn a song. And this is one of the things that I do all the time and I wanted to share it with you guys. Real quick before we get into the lesson, it's NAM week here in California, winter NAM, and I'll be leaving LA driving down to Anaheim to be a part of the show. If you're going to be there, I'll be there today, Friday from 10 to one, I'll be at the Fender booth, so swing by, I would love to meet you. All right, let's get into the lesson. So here's the idea. I'm gonna apply this today over a basic blues. We've been talking a lot about blues on the channel and I've showed you some patterns and things, so I figured this would be a uh, good exercise to do this over, but you could do it over any tune, any song you're working on. It could be a pop song, it could be a standard, whatever, it's a great exercise. So the whole idea with trading fours is you're on a gig, and this happens on big stadiums, you know, and big shows with bands, and then it also happens like if I'm playing a casual, which is just like a local gig, maybe I'm playing at a bar or a restaurant with some other musicians, and we're gonna improvise. So mm -hmm. trading fours is the idea that I'm gonna play, if there's, let's just say it's another musician, we're playing duo. I'm gonna play for four bars, and then I'm going to I'm going to be soloing for four bars and then I'm going to go to rhythm and then they're going to play for four bars a solo and we're just going to go back and forth and sort of feed off each other. So this is a really cool way to practice at home and just get to know a tune better and also simulate what it's going to be like on a gig and give you a little bit of interaction. So let me show you how you can do it. So let's take a blues in the key of E, and I have a few tools that I'm gonna use. One, I'm gonna record myself, so you have to have something that you can record yourself. I'm just gonna use my phone, pull up the voice memos, super easy, and so I'll do that. And then the other thing that I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pull up a click. So whether you have a physical metronome or a computer, I'm just gonna use my computer. Most, most people have these things. So here's my metronome, okay? So I've got a simple click here on two and four. Okay, so it's about 60, 62. And I'm gonna be playing a 12 bar blues to this. I'm gonna start off, I'm gonna play just rhythm for four bars. And then I'm gonna go to a solo for four bars. And then I'm gonna go back to rhythm and I'm just gonna alternate. I'm gonna play three choruses through that 12 bar blues and I'm gonna record it. Okay, so this is what you wanna do. Again, you could apply this to any song, but we're gonna use a blues. So I'm gonna hit record here. I'm gonna sort of point my phone so it gets the click. It's super important to do this with a click too. So, so I like having it on two and four. One, two, three, four. A one, two, a one, two, here we go. So now I'm gonna hit stop on my recorder. All right, so I played three choruses there and you'll notice that I was alternating. I was playing rhythm and then I was playing lead and just going back and forth as if I was trading with somebody and then I'm locked into that click. And you wanna position your recorder where you can hear the click and your guitar's not overpowering it. So now what I'm gonna do is I plugged in just this speaker, love my Fender uh, speaker here, and I'm gonna play this back 
and now I'm going to basically do the opposite of what I just did. So wherever in the recording I was playing rhythm, I'm now going to solo on top of that, and then wherever I was playing lead in here, I'm going to play rhythm. So I'm going to be basically trading fours with myself. Here we go. A one, two, a one, two, here we go. <laughs> I'll play rhythm. you guys so that's the tip is being able to record yourself trading fours and then play on top of it so you're creating your own backing track again it's super important to do this with a click turn that metronome on and play to it and then you sort of get this back and forth you can play off your own ideas and get inspired and again it's just simulating what you may do on a gig and it's really getting to know that song's form and being able to switch back and forth playing rhythm and playing a solo and then counting in between so it's just a great exercise all right you guys thanks so much for watching i hope you learned something in this lesson if you did make sure you hit the thumbs up button and as my free gift to you you can click the link below and get a pdf that's over a hundred pages long all about soloing it's really going to help you out you can get that for free at the link below make sure you subscribe we've got new videos dropping every monday wednesday and friday at 7 30 a.m thanks so much for the support and we'll see you in the next one